I love the story that John gives us in chapter 6 of his gospel, where the disciples, they walk down to the sea, the Sea of Capernaum. They hop into a boat. They begin rowing across. The winds start to pick up. Things start to get kind of scary. And then they really get scared. Why? Because they see Jesus walking to them on the water. Wow, who's ever seen anything like that? They're blown away and they're terrified, right? Because who's seen a man walk on the water before? Now, you might not have thought about this before, but that does say something about Jesus' manhood. You know, we believe that Jesus is God and man. Now, when we go back to the very beginning, when God made Adam and Eve and put them in the garden, what did he tell Adam? He told him to exercise dominion over the earth, to subdue it. So Jesus, as the perfect man there, walking on the water, saying, hey, I'm ruling over the waters. I'm ruling over the earth as I was meant to do, as you were meant to do. But of course it says more than that. Because in their terror, Jesus looks at them and says, it is I, do not be afraid. And that word in the Greek, it is I, ego eimi, points back to what God told Moses back in Exodus 3 when Moses says hey you're telling me to go tell the people that you sent me who do I tell them sent me and God says I am sent you and when Jesus says those words it is I they could also be translated and I think John wants us to see this as I am I am and of course that's a name for for God God gives that name to Moses he gives it to us he is the one who exists in and of himself and exists forever and ever and ever. He's God. And so I want to bring this to the current situation. You know, you may think this has been overdone before, but let me let me tell you, we are in turbulent times. This is extremely difficult. It's a hard season for us. But God's people have gone through things like this for generations since the very beginning. And I just want you to hear me, no matter how hard the waves become, no matter how turbulent the seas, the God-man, the one who rules over everything, right? And the one who is God, who has existed forever and always will, he's still God, he's still reigning, and he's still with us in those rocky waters.